Ready for spooky house? Yeah, it won't be spooky. Too look bad. At, look at its cotton candy colors. That's uh, not spooky. That's the scariest colors of all. That's the favorite, like, dum dum flavor. I don't trust those flavors. I love cotton candy flavored stuff. Uh, it's a radio. Oh, right, because the radio station. Bubble yum. This is the turning point for my journey, I think. Already? Everything came down to this night in the end. What I would do next, you know? That's no, how stories work. I don't I know. I didn't have to follow the entity here, but I'm glad I did. I couldn't imagine life if I hadn't. But maybe there wouldn't be life if I hadn't. Whoa. That's all right. Okay. Are we're implying he saved the world or something. What do you want <laughs> to do with this? It's just the cover um, of the game. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, that looks a little bit familiar there. Let's see. That one, the, the plastic, the plastic robot girl is really big on that picture. Yeah, there's a she giant, must be important. Yeah, there's a giant robot girl. There's Panda. an African American lady with wavy hair on the right, but her face is too small to see. There's the oh, there's I, Vela, I see Vela, then me, then yep, that's the record the record store employee. Look, look at that. The, what was that? What's that guy's Rory, name? There's Rory, and then there's Semi, and then under him is Michael and the Panda. Michael, Michael, I like how he's crouched with the Panda. Yeah, like they're both on the same Wouldn't level. Would you be hugging the Panda? Well, <laughs> no, they're not like hugging. They're just like both like crouched, like they're gonna run a marathon. Semi's floating, like, in the haunted pose, like, when she got taken out the window. Also, there's a copy of Two Brothers right there. Again. <laughs> Inescapably, just over and over again. Just Two Brothers is everywhere. That game it has mostly negative reviews on Steam. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Huh. It was not well received, and he's and he, like, can't stop showing it to us at every corner. I knew what the entity wanted. Wanted me to play the record, to drop the needle, to broadcast the lush and soaring tunes of this masterful LP for the world to hear. That's very, of, um... Of this game? I mean, that's very, uh, complimentary. Lush and soaring tunes of this masterful LP. We better hear the Toby Fox song, then. Yeah, I was gonna say... Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I didn't know that exactly, but I had my suspicions. Hey, you don't know shit. <laughs> Shut nothing up, here! It's empty! Hey, not my fault. Do you know where it is? Why Does it you... have to be this record? But what about one of the others? Is he just randomly? Why yelling are you at those yelling things? at this like this very yeah. scary? What are you expecting? Omnipresent looking <laughs> entity. Ooh, that's very gutsy. That sounded cool. You can talk. Okay, fair enough. What do you want me to do? I'd kill this guy if I was this entity. Yeah. I'd find someone else to do my work for me. Like you're being such a dick. What if she's semi? <laughs> Oh, great. Now you're mute. Look, I'll swing into town in the morning and see if they have this record, this mystical Ultima LP legend or whatever. Gosh dang, dude. Like, this thing can kill you. You don't know anything. About this thing's scary looking. <laughs> I'm just like, you're just like... Oh, we're back. Oh, gosh. So you just followed the entity to a radio tower a few miles from town? What is wrong with you? Uh... Hey, don't pretend you wouldn't have done the same. Would I have done the same? Haven't we heard this song before, but in a different instruments? Yeah, it's, it's like the main theme. Oh, it's my brain song, isn't it? This is my mind palace song, isn't it? It's whistling normally, and it's got the creepy voices. I don't know if it's... But now it's playing like a weird trumpet or something. <laughs> I don't know if it's that one. Is it? I think. I'm not sure. It's like morbid curiosity and whatnot. I wanted to see what it wanted, why it's been living with us. I had just thought your panda friend was getting to be a bit juvenile, so you picked up something more sinister looking. Har har. So, I'm gonna go knock on Michael's door and swing to town, see if I can find this mystical Ultima LP legend. I think that's a good idea. Think anyone really wants to talk to you after that stunt you pulled? Hey, easy. Why are you always trying to make me feel bad? Anyway, I'll pay him a visit. We'll see. No one's mad at me. They've just been busy. They're definitely mad at you, but you could, like, apologize for things you do. You should just inherently assume that everyone you've ever interacted with is mad at you. Yeah. Because the way you interact with everyone is dickish. Yep. Of course, if you're going to apologize, you need to apologize to Rory. And your the mom. The person you actually wronged. Yeah, and mom. 
Michael and Velo are just bystanders. They're disappointing you. Why do you have two laundry hampers in one room? Is it just for the symmetry? Yeah, I was gonna say someone's someone's got a problem. But the the there was like a picture of a bridge above the bed that was slightly asymmetrical. And I feel like if that's what you're trying to do, that would have really that's fucked the you si- up. That's the symbol of the destruction of your marriage. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Look at even the plants are symmetrical. I hate it. <laughs> See, I don't like that kind. Of, you're setting you're setting yourself up for failure if you go too symmetrical because then yeah, it's like the two lamps and the two plants and the three stools and everything. I like the um, look at the face toaster, dude. I love my like Brave Little Toaster. That's like one of the most scary kids movies I can think of. It made me really like in the first scene, the air conditioner blows up and dies as it screams like an agony, and I remember thinking like. Mom, why are you, why have you watched this? <laughs> Yo, I came to pick up the zine. That's still happening? Oh, yeah. It's, just, it's the same dialogue as before. But it is tomorrow, sir. Do you remember where Michael lives? What is today? But yesterday is tomorrow. Um, I don't think we never... Been th- wait, 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 wait. Well, my, Michael's house is the one with the big sign in front of it. That says... Oh, yeah, it was the one that was closest to over here. What, wait, oh, yeah, it was the... Mm. It was his house or my house with the big sign? No, I, th- I thought... I don't think it's this one. I think it's the one down. I'm gonna double check. Ah! Uh, You're not, Michael! Man, why are you bugging? Don't you know it's step my day off? Okay. Dude, you shouldn't look like that. There's something wrong with you. Oh, boy. Where was the sign? Uh... So that's my house. I live yeah. in my house. Yeah, his must be the one with the sign, yeah. There's another... My, there's I guess another... mine doesn't... <laughs> Where do you live? I live in my house. Wow. Do you like cow or goat milk? <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of that town. See, if I had your job, it'd be really unfortunate because I would just like make jokes to myself and make myself laugh all the time with no context as to why I was laughing at my own, my <laughs> just own joke people that I made. To Google. Yeah. For me, that's Pixie's lyrics. Yeah, yeah. No one knows why I said that. Anyway, the Ballard sign. Oh. Hi. What do you want? Are you okay? Yeah, I need you to stop talking to me. Do you need help? Do you need me to call Child Protective Services for you? Jesus Christ. Oh, is Michael home? Michael? Wah! There is no Michael who lives here. He's been Only, dead the whole time. Oh, you must want the house next door. Yeah, Michael lives there. Oh, sorry. Whoops. That was weird. I've known Michael forever, and I swear to God, he always lived in that house. I needed to relax. I was letting all the paranormal get to me. Are we in an alternate world? Where everything's slightly different, and Michael lives next door to where he is? Does it mean this one? Probably. Yes? Can I help you? Do you need help? Everything's voiced now and creepy. It's Michael's mom. They all look really scared. Is Michael home? Uh, yeah, but he's sick. I'll let him know you rang the doorbell. Right, okay. I knocked on the door. Yeah, excuse me. Is that a motorcycle? Sounded like it. Nothing to worry about, see? Stupid panda. He's just sick. Probably. Ask the dog. What's happening? My husband parked here before going on a business trip, right? Oh yeah, that's it. I'm waiting for that car to get towed. Yeah. Um. Well, shit. Now what do I do? <laughs> we still need to look for a job. Right, we're still trying to pick up the look, record. Look, look at the hint, though. Maybe, <clears throat> did the hint tell you anything? Yeah, it says to get pick up the record. Ah. Oh yeah. The the as far as I can tell, hint is basically just what's your current objective. Oh, which, is, can... which is useful. Uh, so that's useful. Hint is a weird way to put it, but it's useful. In like in like Skyrim or something, it's like I haven't played this game in two months. I look yeah. at my like objective screen. There's like ten, and I'm like, I don't. There's some interesting cases where like you you feel like you can take for granted how certain mechanics will work, and then you, until you hit a game that just doesn't do it. Well, only certain games in which I'm like juggling a lot of things. Although like a game like this, I I am so distracted by like the weird visuals and yeah. like the bad dialogue that I instantly forget what I'm doing. Like I'm playing Anachronox, and it's got the weird thing where it has a quest log that tells you what the what to do in the main story, and it'll even keep track of multiple parallel main story missions at the same time if they're happening separately from each other in parallel. 
it will not track a single side quest. Uh, so the game has a bunch of side quests, and I'm just taking physical notes for all of them, because if I don't write down my objective every time I get anything that sounds like a quest, I'll never finish it, because the game, like there's no interface element that tracks them, so I will lose track of the, the, what, what they are immediately, and it's a huge problem. He's probably out looking for hey his man, brother, I'm huh? I'm looking for this record. You've probably never heard of it, oh. but it's called uh, Mystical Ultima LP Legend. Why you say it like that? Oh, he nah, looks cool. man. I'm super into obscure music. I make all the choices here for the indie music. You, just, you just pulled, uh, you probably have never heard of it, on the guy who runs a record store. Yeah, fuck you. It's not even, not a, it's like, it's not a Best Buy. Like, it's a fucking record store. I'm looking uh, for, like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like if it was the if it was the poor employee at a at a GameStop uh, at a Best Buy, I'd be like, yeah, I agree. They probably don't know what you're talking about. But this I, is, this I is worked, an actual yeah. record store. Like media was in my department technically, and I didn't even know popular things. <laughs> Do you have the new Katy Perry album? Yeah, I had some, somebody came in and asked if we have the new Wiz Khalifa album, and I had to figure out how to spell it because I had no idea. Oh. I had no, that was my first encounter of Wiz Khalifa, and it is not an easy guess. So I was like, I don't, I don't I have no idea. Nah, we don't have it. It's like, yeah, I, th I think it's like sold out, dude. Damn. Okay. Anyway, can you order it? Uh, the manager has to do that. Why? Hmm. That's weird. But don't you pick the indie music here? You literally just said that. Hey man, lay off! Look, if you want something good, you can check out the Windtown Music Shop. They have a big selection, and they're usually down with the hip cat bands, you dig? You dig? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks. No worries. Yes, now go down to Windtown and apologize to Rory, asshole. Yeah, that was not like, yeah. You shitbag. Crap. I was gonna have to go all the way to Windtown to find this thing. Well, it's not like you have a job and you have <laughs> other stuff to do. You have nothing else going on. Enjoy a road trip and also get Yuri of the Wind back in your life. I wanna go alone. <laughs> I wondered if Mel was at the arcade. So he can come with us during battles and stand there because <laughs> he doesn't yeah. attack. <laughs> Moral support. He'd catch a grenade for, for you. And hopefully throw it afterwards, otherwise you're just going to die with a grenade in your hand. I couldn't remember the next line when you said that. I was like, what? what I already forgot. It's like that old. So, it's a bit complicated. Uh, can you get away from work for a bit? It's like, it, it's about Sammy and the entities and all that stuff. And that, that, the whole thing that we, you and I are connected with, because we don't have any other connection besides this weird event. It's like, yeah. if I'm talking to you about something, it's probably about these things, because it's yeah. like, we don't have any other... It's our one thing. It's our one thing. But also, can I get a job? Just in a stereotypical, obvious way, just I really want to work at the arcade. <laughs> I, I, like how she, I like how she was like, my boss let me hire friends, but it's like it's like it's probably more so like I don't want you to work with me because you're creepy yeah. and you'll just stare at me all day. How long do I need to be away for? But not long. Just need to run to Windtown, so like three to four hours tops. Are you serious? It's not a small amount of time. No, she's you, working. You want me to just walk away from my job for three to four hours? It's, it's important. Uh, look, no one here really needs you to do your job. It'll be fine. Wow. Wow. That sounds like you've never had a job I, before. I need to not get fired. <laughs> yeah, what's gonna happen when you, you just leave for four hours? You're half I need your the shift. Money, Alex. Hey, I'll pay you. What do you make an hour? Like minimum wage? I'll give you the 30 bucks. Are you talking down to the person who works for a living when you aren't working for a living and what little money your household had it has is dwindling by the moment? I hope she lays into him. I, I, she... I, I, I want him dead. <laughs> I want a new main character so bad. You know, and this is the kind of thing, like, people who don't have... Okay, so there, uh... there's certain people who, like, don't have friends who are not good at, like, or, or even your girlfriends or whoever, and they're like, I'll pay you for your time. Like, I'll buy you all the stuff you want. Just hang out with me for three to four <sighs> hours. Like, you know, like, I'll basically pay you, pay you to be my friend for three to four hours. Like, that, people do that, or he try to do that. He doesn't have a fucking leg to stand on right now. Alex, 
you don't get it, do you? Yeah, lay into him, Bella. You have no idea what hard work is. You don't. You don't get having a purpose besides your own stupid whims. Yeah. Do you get how hard <laughs> it is Whoa. to go from trying to save the world one afternoon to spending your every waking moment working at a friggin' arcade? Yeah, that, One second, yeah. you're banishing entities and exploring conspiracies, then BAM! You're stuck in a freaking New Jersey arcade making sure no mall rats are loitering. Sure, it got my DDR game to be amazing, but I'm used to honing my skills to something with more of a purpose. <sighs> One day, Alex, when you finally get a job, You'll understand how everything can't be conspiracies and missing mysterious girls all the time! Yeah! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You don't? You're not gonna learn anything from this. <laughs> he probably won't. He's only, the only, oh god, the, her, her, her face, face is her so Her face good. makes sense in this instance only. <laughs> yeah. It finally has context. No! Wait, Alex. Don't show weakness. I'm sorry. I no! Snap no. at him again! Snap at him all the time! Break him! Snap at him until he learns how to talk he's to people! Gonna do, he's gonna do the bullshit where he just defensively just kind of ca steps down whenever anyone's mean to him or gives him shit for something, but he doesn't actually internalize the information or learn and grow. He just repeats the same behavior again. And he's gonna pout and look sad and walk away yeah. until someone says, I'm sorry, I should have snapped like that. No! Uh. Stick to your guns! Say, ignore him for like two days. <laughs> He's one of the people that, like, depends on the politeness of no one ever actually calling him out on his bullshit. Because, like, everyone, like, there's often, like, people where, like, everyone around them is so aware of, like, their massive glaring character flaws, but they just don't want to deal with this. They're just going to get through this interaction and move on and probably complain the moment they're gone, but never actually deal with the problem. I understand different people uh, take different types of, like, like, some people are not good in social situations and for different reasons and you have to kind of maybe deal with people differently but a person like this <laughs> like other people you can maybe kind of convince like you know maybe what you said wasn't the best way maybe you could have said it like this and that's different right this guy knows the fuck he's doing he's just an asshole about everything he's not he's not sympathetic he's not like unaware he's just a dick <laughs> we no i get it that's how you feel about me. Ah! Nothing I can do to change it. Ah! You could change who you are. He's doing that thing where it's like, oh, I see how it is. Uh, uh. Dude, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is why I get Alex, in arguments down. with people on Tinder. Like, this is how this happens. And like, you're not talking <laughs> to women the right way. And I'll tell them, I'm like, you're not doing this politely. In the, in the future, do it like this. I will not talk to you anymore. Hopefully every, you every learned time, a lesson from this interaction. Every time you ever, like, comment on me posting a big comment on YouTube, I'll always think about the fact that you got, you got in arguments on pe with people on Tinder. I try- Okay, maybe- maybe it's a lost cause. Which is incredible. It's a lost cause- I'm trying to help them. I'm like- I'm like- I'm like- okay, I'm like, do you- okay, do you understand how that comment sounds? And they'll be like, this, blah, 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 blah. Like, you understand how maybe, like, a dick pic isn't, like, the best mode of, like, conversation? <laughs> like, I will explain to you maybe why that's not the best. Oh, no. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to help people. <laughs> I'm trying to fix things. <laughs> but they're all Alex. Ah, no, uh, this, this Alex wouldn't even gotten us, like, after his first comment. Whatever he, whatever he said first, no matter what it was, it would have been an instant never talking to this guy again. No, it's fine! I'm everyone's punching bag! Oh my gosh, I'm no. getting so mad, oh Keith. I'm getting so mad. You're the one who's a dick to everyone all the time! Eh, I'm it's a, you! I'm a victim! Eh, eh. Oh. Sympathize with me, please! It's totally great! Just keep ticking me! Ugh, get over yourself, Alex! Yeah! Could you be any more of an entitled little brat? Last night, an entity was in my house. I followed it to an old radio tower, and there I found the- What the hell? Yeah, the entity was in my house. No, not that. I don't care about that. That happens all the time. This, this has to be a joke. Are you screwing with me? Where did you get that? I told you it was in the radio tower. Is that her, like, mixtape? <laughs> but how did it get here? What? I- Look. Do us all a favor, and don't try to find that record. Just let it go. But don't you think that this is all connected? 
Sammy vanishing, me meeting you, Rory, the entity appearing in my house. Sometimes a record is just a record and an entity just lives in your house. Don't try and connect everything <laughs> together like there is some giant cosmic plan. Keith, I'm the entity look, that lives in your house. Don't look for that record. <laughs> so I, I guess he must have... Right, because he was he was yelling about, about it being empty before, so he must have taken the sleeve with him, and he's showing her the sleeve. So they're trying to find I, the I was confused about that. Yeah, it wasn't clear what he was saying when he's yelling about it being empty. I thought he was talking about the room, but I guess he's talking about like the record yeah, sleeve I must thought, have nothing in it. I was, yeah, I was confused about that too. Okay, that makes more sense. So now that, that must be what he's showing her here. I was like, did he take a picture of it? But it's ninety nine. They can't really do that, actually. <laughs> Just, you can't really just take a picture of something and show it to I people. I remember flip phone pictures. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, I'm going to. You really can't stop me. It print out like a fucking uh, Pokemon Snap station. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> black yeah. And white. Oh, man. Alex! Oh, sometimes you just make me want to... That's how I feel. I... If you find it, just leave me out of it. I want nothing to do with it. What? Do you, like, really, really hate this band or something? Have you not seen the cover of it, Alex? It's got you on it. <laughs> you're so self-entitled and self-absorbed, I doubt you could not notice that you're fucking on the front cover. Yeah. <sighs> Alex, just get the hell out of here. I don't want to see you for a while. For an ever. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to upset you. You just do that all I'm the time. I'm sorry that you got upset. <laughs> yeah. Like... I'm sorry that that... I'm sorry you were offended by that. Uh... Oh, here he is. Oh, Michael, dude, glad to see you're feeling better. Uh, of all the characters we could group back up with, it's the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> that face, I missed that beautiful you know, face. said you'd been under the weather when I stopped by this morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What are you up to? Oh, he's avoiding him. Who's avoiding him? Or is he avoiding school or something? No, I think he just hates Alex. Oh, yeah. Because he was being a dick Thankfully, last time. He seemed to believe me. <laughs> okay, so let's hit up Windtown. While we're there, why don't we stop in and check on Rory? Make sure he doesn't hate you... Our guts. Don't don't Your take guts. half the brunt for that, Michael. I almost got defensive. Oh my god. Wow, even that was still too much. I almost pointed out how Rory endangered our lives with this stupid attention seeking lie. But I let it go. I mean it was for I don't think it was a lie to him. It wa it wasn't a also, lie. For we ever why does everyone have to have entities figured out? Uh, isn't everyone new to this? He's too strongly. Just because Vela's smarter than every other character in the game and was able to figure it out in advance doesn't mean Rory was lying. Yeah, I think Rory genuinely believed all the yeah. things he was telling us. She just understands what's going on more than anyone else. Mellow. <laughs> what? Mellow. Mellow. I'm gonna... Mellow from, from Mellow? Death Note. No. Mellow. Oh, Rory is Mellow from Death Note. Oh, I thought you saw like a, Decided, me like a Mellow Yellow ad. <laughs> uh, they call me Mellow Yellow. That's a song by Donovan. Cross the street. Can I just go home? I've missed too many classes. Are you getting kidnapped? I hate shopping. Wait, you've missed classes because you're shopping? I forgot I need something at the shop. Now I need to cross the road again. Wish me luck. She's an OCD mother. Oh no. So they're stuck here. Is that the implication? Oh no. She has to do it a certain way, so it, she, he's, he's been there for days missing she's his the, like, classes. Obsessive street crossing. Well, have fun with that, little boy. <laughs> Goodbye. I have my own problems, <laughs> and I'm very full of them. That's all I can think about, because my problems are bigger than everyone else's problems. My life is the only <laughs> one that matters. I'm Alex. My feelings are, have more weight than everyone else's feelings. Bark, 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 bark. Mine dungeon. I can probably level him up, I assume. Unless he didn't get any experience while I was gone. It's- that's nice. Wow. <laughs> Good on ya. The game just looks at you like, that's nice, sweetie. Pat pat. Wait, but he is level- <laughs> He is level 13, though. Like, he just kind of kept up anyway, I guess. Maybe when I- when they're like, it's nice to, level, to encourage your friends or whatever earlier. Maybe it was leveling them up, but they just wasn't telling me they were leveling up because they weren't in my party. Hmm, maybe. Or something. I don't know. 
no. You can put them in like, like a Pokemon daycare and they just like level up without you. Like Michael and like Vela and Rory just hang out and like play catch with each other mm -hmm. while, you're, while you're gone on adventures, level up on their own. <laughs> you just find strange children eggs. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's D a lot creepier when it's people. Ditto slash Whalmer. Oh no. Ah, uh, random encounter. Skinny. Stick garlic to the onion, in the onion. That sounds good. I do like garlic and onion in basically everything. Your brother made a dish where he literally just put an, on an onion in the oven and we ate it and it was good. <laughs> onion is, just kind of makes itself. Oops. Onion's good shit. Yeah, you just, you just you cook it all together just as a whole and it uh, caramelizes all the way through and you yeah. just put a sauce on it and you eat it. People used to just do that. Damn. I need to try that. No, it's pretty good. Smack. Take a dirt nap, A dirt rat. nap. What if I just want to nap in dirt, but I don't want to die? How would I call that? A dirt nap, but like non-euphemistically. A dirt nap with an asterisk. Sometimes you just want to sleep with the fishies like you do every day. Yes, I have an aquarium <laughs> along my bed, like yep. almost like a bed board. But on the side. Yeah. And so I sleep next to fish Look every day. Look at these day. sweet woods. Sweet woods. Oh, candle. Uh, candles? I don't think I have the candle ability. The fire? You probably just have to, <laughs> you, you lay them on fire so they, they yeah. go down. Does, do I have a character that like makes mixtapes? That's fire. <laughs> Super hot fire. I spit that. Super hot. Flaming Cheetos, oh. I eat that. Flaming Cheetos. Flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> I my eat Flaming that. Hot Cheetos attack. Hey. <laughs> well, I can't do that. And I already did the top left one, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you can you read. Are they reoccurring or? It's oh, level two. Aw, so friendly. I, mean, I know. I feel kind of bad just coming up here and like wrecking them all. Kill them all. None can survive. There's having like a little picnic or something. Aw, oh, look at all the happy rats all in a line, all so larger than people. Is this Chucky's family? Do you know did I tell you that Chucky Okay, so Chucky e. Cheese is, is is filed for bankruptcy. I don't I'm I i do not know if that's if they're gonna save themselves or not, like a lot of companies <gasps> do. Sixteen hit combo. Good job, Keith. You wrecked that rat. Fuck. <laughs> but did you know that the um that the Chucky's new voice, after he started playing guitar, was that he's voiced by the guy from Bowling for Soup. That guy's busy. Yeah, because you, you know like they, they revamped Chucky's design, so now he's like this, this slim, like, hip-looking rodent that plays, like, electric yeah. guitar. Well, Bowling, apparently- the, Bowling for Soup just leaned heavy into kids' media. They do the theme song to some of the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog games. Like, the ones that have, like, modern pop punk playing during their intro now like I think Sonic Unleashed or something like that or whatever they, they, they're bowling they're all bowling for soup <laughs> they didn't do the best one though the, uh, the rolling around at, at the, the speed, speed of sound. sound got places to go gotta follow my rainbow so is, is that what it says yeah it was dreams or something no I love the um, yeah, that's the that's like downhill jam or something the San Francisco one uh in Sonic Adventure Battle 2 it's like the first yeah. level when you're, you're going down yeah, you're, and you're then going the trucks down to San Francisco you. 45 degree angle roads yeah cuz cuz that's where they moved when they made that Make it through It's really frustrating that the uh, the audio mixing do. is so bad in every single Sonic game that's Just keep and it's like on that one in particular like it's like this big famous Just song everyone thinks of but when house. you play the level you basically can't hear it <laughs> You just hear horrible, all the sound effects are just drowning it out. Take my lead, i set you free. No, I was like, I played that game a fuck ton because I was trying to get Trust my- me and we will escape, escape from, from the, the city. Oh, that's the name of the level, Escape from the yeah, City. City Escape. Uh, the, uh... No, dude, I played that all the time because I was trying to get stuff from my chow garden because I wanted my chows to look, <laughs> look a certain way, so I had to collect the right animals. So there's certain levels I just, I played like a fuck ton because I was like trying to get the right animals to like make my chows the coolest looking. I was very into that. <laughs> game's, the game's pretty like sketchy, but it uh, the chow garden was fun. Sketchy. Like 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 the graphics were iffy, and like the there's like a, some really funny memes regarding the lip syncing where it's like they'll talk to each other but the audio literally like overlaps so it's like 
I'll make you eat those words. Like he'll say it over, like they, they talk over oh, each yeah. other while they're talking. There's also scenes where you can't hear people over the music, especially the child that plays Tails. And it's clearly a child because they're, they're, they're horrible at like speaking and acting. Everything's gonna be okay. Those are fucking, those are such a weird franchise. Like, Sonic Adventure 1 just has a part where the only way to proceed forward is to get past a door that has a monkey guarding it in a cage with a siren on top. And the only way to beat it is to go to this one random chunk of the map and then dig in a hole and then you get a switch. It's like a, it's just like a, it's like the, it's like the do it button, like the little red button that is just like a button that you press and, it, and it's, and it's, it says like a voice line or whatever when you press it, like it's just like that, like it's just a little stupid just widget. Like it's a literal just, button. It's just a button not attached to anything, a big red one. And you just take that button all the way to the monkey and then you press it there and the monkey explodes. <laughs> I was, I'll always think of the Storm Dane video reviewing it where it's like, it's like, and the, way, the way to get past this door is to get the monkey destruction switch and then take it over here and press the monkey destruction switch and then the monkey destruction switch is never mentioned again. <laughs> y you know, I remember that in pieces, but I... Yeah, I know that... Okay, my favorite... My favorite scene ever is I don't even remember which game it was, but it's the one where they, they like, pan to the, the President of the United States and he has a picture, a framed photograph of him and Sonic the Hedgehog on his desk. He's like on the phone and he's talking about like an emergency that's happening in, in America and it just like pans over to his desk and he just has this really cartoony like fucking framed photograph of him and Sonic hugging. <laughs> and it always makes me laugh when I think about that because it's just so bizarre. I don't do, I don't understand why they decided to make this game take place in reality. In reality. Like they should have pulled like a Mario where it's like that, it's, a, it's like a... Because it just doesn't look right to have like Sonic and Tails running around, especially in, when they have real animals sometimes, like that Oracle whale, yeah, and like the infamous Oracle whale, and like all these other animals that are just walking around doing normal animal stuff. I don't understand where they what, like what this is. At least in Mario, they can they can make like a game like Odyssey and have everything be bizarre. It makes them being in the human world make sense because nothing like everything they do is like cartoony I and think weird. Sonic Unleashed was the one where they at least made it feel more correct by having all the humans be like cartoon proportions. Because the one of the weirdest choices they had in some of the other games like Sonic 06 was to make the humans completely normal shape. That's, that's I know and then he falls but in the, love. But then the Wait. human but then Sonic himself is like this ha whole this horrifying abomination with a giant head and like the Yuna eye. Where, he like, makes out with that princess yeah. and it's the weirdest grossest thing. Like there's just the weird idea that the only way that Sonic could even physically exist is if his head just has a giant eyeball in it with two pupils. I don't understand why they thought that was a good idea. I don't know. Like, I'm baffled by this creative decision. The, 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 the direction they took is bizarre. At least the cartoon. The cartoon, like... Or at least the Man, old one has, like, Michael some weird... Camera. Michael just needs to get his shit together. Yeah. Stop wearing that Freddy Krueger outfit. That Freddy Krueger outfit? Mm-hmm. Miss! I don't understand why they're- I love the laugh. Why are they so sweaty? Because they're nervous. They're, they're nervously smiling. How the fuck do you aim this? Good luck. Can Just keep you... mashing it. Yeah, yeah. No, I was gonna say, I, th I think that's your- Check out my sick beast! <laughs> Super hot fire. Damn, I destroyed them this time. It's Galaga logic where you only have two projectiles on screen at a time. So if they collide with anything, you get to shoot even faster. But if they keep, but if they don't collide with anything, you have to wait for them to leave the screen before you can shoot the next one. Ah. Uh. It's like it's like it's just a weird way that old games used to handle their projectiles. I don't, I don't really, I don't really have like a, I don't I have like no term for it. It's just like a way they handled that like way back then. Well, they probably didn't have like enough, uh, like space. I don't think they had like, the resources to have that many projectiles on the screen at once. So they probably had to like limit what they could do. That's South Town. Oopsie. Do you remember how to get to Wind Town? Did I have to go so did I did I have to leave via the far right oh we have to take the bus, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah 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 that is the bus one. Well I did the level two dungeon at least. 
bing, bing. Now, why are there outlines around the two yellow ones, but not around the red one? It's weird. The the two yellow areas I hit have like a have a gray area around them. That's not the same color as the rest of the record. Does it distract you visually? I'm just curious why it's it? there and why it's not around the red one, but none of them do anything. It's not like a grace area where you don't where you like you can hit there and not get penalized or anything, as far as I can tell. It's just kinda there. Being fucking weird. Kill the rat king. <laughs> Uh, rat kings are terrifying. Th that's in the um, the Nutcracker, right? Like the the rat king. There's like the girl shrinks down to the Nutcracker size, and then the rat king falls in love with her. Uh, I was just thinking of, of the the real life in instance of a rat king. This is just like a distressing thing, where they find they find a bunch of dead rats that all have their tails tied to each other. What? And it's called the Rat King. Is that a real? Yeah. You can Google it. You'll you'll get like this distressing visual. Why? It's like why? Why does that happen? I I we, I, I I think the uh, I think in all instances of it, it's like a, it's sort of mythologized. Like it's just a thing that just like is found and no one understands it. Re realistically, it's just something that probably some someone probably does either because of the legend, either somebody created the legend by doing it, or they just like. In response to the legend made it real or something, maybe. It's funny how like there are certain like things that are like mythological that just exist in nature. Like I think of like like fairy rings being like the ring of mushrooms that happened, but like that happens for a very specific reason as far as like how mushrooms reproduce. And there's also like um like a tangle of snakes. Like that's like really ominous, but that's just like how that's just they a, reproduce. That's just a snake orgy. Yeah, and a lot of snakes actually do like 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 um I think it's like garter snakes will like be you can like dig up holes of like hundred garter snakes and it's just like they are all born down there and they like meet down there and they all like have a thing. I don't know, there's like some reason oh they all just hang out together. God. What? <laughs> I got XP from that. Whoa, you I did. I think I'm gonna go meet that lady that they said we're gonna meet in the in my brain. That's a normal sentence. <laughs> Remember they said like level 15 or something, we're gonna meet someone, we should ask every question we can. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That very ominous statement. Marlene like told us way in advance for some reason. Cause she likes to talk a lot. Yeah. Like everyone else. Yeah, cause they're a character in this game. Cause the person who writes this game likes to talk a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hashtag relatable. Dude, that dungeon gave us experience for days. Why are they such valuable enemies? <laughs> but yeah, I, I, at this point, I've played like multiple. It might be called a Rat Emperor or something. I think no, I think it's the Rat King. Uh, I keep playing video games that have a Rat King enemy now, and they're always like some sort of like monstrosity that kind of calls back to that a little bit. But yeah, I think about Bloodborne has the snake orgy enemy. There's like a bunch of enemies that are just it's just snake balls, and it's like, ah. <laughs> Am I intruding? I'm sorry. Probably. <laughs> yeah, this is the whistle. Oh, yeah. Do, 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 yeah, it says, uh, Rat King do, is a collection do, do, do. of rats whose tails are intertwined and bound together by one of several possible mechanisms, such as entangling material like hair or sticky substances, like sap or gum, or getting tied together. That's upsetting. Yeah, it's a visual. There are several specimens preserved in museums, but very few instances of rat kings have been observed in modern times. I think people do just do it for fun, as fucked up as that yeah, is. Yeah, I think it's one of those creepy old-timey legend things. Uh, people do it with squirrels too, apparently. Don't do that. <laughs> Stop. It's a bad omen, if you can guess that. Um, existence is debated due to limited evidence of it occurring naturally. I think that they're fabricated. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure they're not real. But it's just a thing. So then it becomes a legend and then you get references to it. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like half my journey with what I do is just constantly trying to keep up with all the weird things that are being referenced and stuff. So like, I just need to like keep up with like, like, uh, like, oh, like today I learned what, the, what a rat king is finally, because like, that keeps coming up, and it's like, it's come up enough times that it must not be just a random, like, oh, the thing's called a rat king, that's weird. It's like, once it comes up like two or three times, you're like, oh, this is like, they're all referencing something. Apparently it was in the novel It. Um, 
is didn't obviously didn't come up in the movie or anything. Yeah. Or like I think of like, oh, you the first time you hear the word seraphim, you're like, okay, whatever. But then the third time you hear, oh. I am sorry. I did not know you were here. You could have knocked. But I was in the back room in the stacks. Everything here is such a mess. What is happening? Oh, are you, am I supposed to be the la is, is, she, is she supposed to be talking? Is he is is maybe he's narrating for the puppet? It's weird. I think he's I think he's the puppet. It's everything's weird. But yeah, like the third time you hear the word seraphim, you're like, okay, now I need to look into this. And like, oh, it's like a Bible thing. And it's like, yeah, so Father then, Seraphim. So then like that gets added to your list of things to look into. Uh, to just keep up with this stuff. Like, I gotta read every Isaac Asimov book, and I've gotta read all this Lovecraft, and I've gotta read the Bible, and I'll finally <laughs> understand what all these games are Gosh, referencing. Gosh, I have to read the Bible? There's uh, so much Bible in video games. I, I know, there's so much Bible in everything. Yeah, especially JRPGs, though, of all things. They just lean into, like, weird Bible references. I'm like, why is this all right? As you can see, no one visits here. No one except the Dungeon Master. And so uh, he hasn't visited in almost a year. You made them pronounce that? <laughs> it's she slash he, and he pronounced it Sahi. <laughs> huh. I don't know if I've heard that ever before. Excuse me. Just say the thing. Perhaps you have mistaken this for another floor? This is the library. I can't imagine you're here to read all these old books. You don't fucking know me. Only the Dungeon Master is allowed to read them anyway. You're not the Dungeon Master, are you? No, didn't think so. Forgive me, I hate to be rude, but I'll need you to remove your glasses. There are things in this room that aren't meant for your eyes. What in the world's happening? Um, I, wonder... I, I feel like Mar Marlene, I'm assuming that's still Marlene, yeah. is speaking differently. I'm wondering, yeah, that's a different voice, I think. I'm wondering if the puppet librarian character is, like, channeling Marlene and, like, speaking through Marlene as, a vo as like, a mouthpiece, or if Marlene is using this fake librarian puppet as an excuse to tell us stuff that they're not supposed to be able to tell us otherwise. Because they said that there was, like, things they're not allowed to tell us, but you should ask the librarian everything you can. Like, what if, what if they're just using the librarian as an excuse to tell us things, but it's actually just them breaking the rules. Uh, it might be that. Only the dungeon master is allowed to see. You understand, right? That's Good. the that's the adorable pose. I like I that one's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, why have you come? What can I do for you? Oh, Crow told you to visit me? Oh, <laughs> well, it's nice to have the company. Usually Crow sends people away. That's his job, you know. Outsiders aren't allowed in the Dungeon of the Mind. What? Someone gave you the phone number for the Dungeon of the Mind? That is I weird. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Have I met you somewhere before? As you may know, in this Dungeon of the Mind, memory is unreliable and uncertain. There are things we can remember and things we cannot remember. That's a new pose. Aw, it's a sad Dignified one. Bow and or sad face. You seem to be among the things I cannot. Please forgive me, but I want to have met you before. Well, you're in my of brain, course, though. What I want doesn't matter. Only what the dungeon master wants matters. Okay, I've spoken enough. That's cryptic. What in the world? How do you ask? Uh. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to ask as many questions as we can, but now I just moved on. It says you can now customize your stats in the mind dungeon. Is yeah, that something it says different? That, no, it says that every single ah, time. Okay. I don't know why. And also, whenever I whenever I've banished somebody, it means I have to do this again, which is just the same banish enemy. Uh, it's just the same banishing uh, mini game again in the same way, but now Alex is in it. Ew! It's, it's weird. That makes it worse. <laughs> that does make it worse. Do 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 do. Yeah, I think it was what was playing on the stereo earlier. Yeah. I love crows. Crows are like my favorite bird. They're very, very Bella smart. Bella can drop the bass. Drop the bass. And then do the Harlem shake. <laughs> I'm internet poisoned. The 
filthy Frank. Said the entity has grown. I, do, do, I, do, I, do, I, I pressed it a little do, too do, fast. Do. I think it said that the entity presence might have made it stronger. I'm not sure. This is the slowest leveling system I've ever seen. And I've played Final Fantasy 13. Did I ever tell you about how like they did this? They, I mean, crows are really smart. They do like a lot of tests with them. But there was one where they had um, people put on these really ugly face masks and go and terrorize this specific group of crows. And they had them, so you, and then they had the same group of crows who interacted with people on a regular basis. But years later, years had passed, and they had people put on the same face masks and go up and tear it, like go up again. And the crows remembered them mm -hmm. and hated them still and were like aggressive to these people when they put the face masks on because they remember their faces. They, like, they remember the masks? Yeah, because they, they remember their, <laughs> the, like, it proves that like crows can remember human faces. Even if, even if years pass, they remember these human yeah. faces to where yeah. they were nice to everyone else. So when these people put on the, they were like human-like masks. But when they put on the face mask, they remembered those faces and were mean because they remembered they had been mean to them when they were little. Jesus. No, crows, crows are really smart. They, they yeah. steal coins out of vending machines. They like they use tools. You know they they use uh, <laughs> they use cross like street crossings to crack nuts. They'll drop nuts on a uh, on like the crosswalk and wait for cars to run them over. And they'll wait for the the walking signals to turn green so they can go down and get them so they don't get hit by cars. Then there's the weird aspect of how like they they're communal enough that they learn their ka from each other. And so there's a there's an east coast and west coast split of how crows sound like. Because the West uh, is a different West, dialect. Yeah, like West Coast crows do that blood curdling caw, and East Coast crows make a beep noise. Beep. They beep. <laughs> it's fucking weird. A lot of animals that are really socially intelligent are able to have different dialects, which is why uh, that's why you can't have like orca whales at t Sea World be in the same tank together, because they won't be able to talk to each other. That was being really sad. So they would just like force these orc whales to interact, but they wouldn't be able to speak with each other because they don't speak the same language anyway. So even them being together doesn't really work. Isn't there a thing where if they make those noises, it hurts them because it reverberates off the yeah, it reverberates off the walls of the tank. Because I was so. seeing a thing recently about how like it's like the bl the blue whale or something like that has like the most like no, it wasn't the blue whale it was devastatingly the, uh, loud click ever was it the sperm oh, that was, whale oh you were there too. i was there yeah, that, yeah. Was, uh, that was uh that was daily dose of internet yeah. wasn't it yeah no there, there, yeah, there was one whale that was so loud it was, it was like, literally the so loudest loud animal it's so loud on the planet deafen you. yeah if you hear it without uh earphones on you you can be permanently deaf if you're underwater and it hits you it, it, could, it, it could like move things right like it could like it was, a. Uh, the facts on that were very impressive. That made me so high level. No, that's a, that's an addictive series. I hope he, like, I hope he's professional about it and, like, sources his videos and gets them, gets approved and whatnot, doesn't just, like, steal stuff constantly like, like Ray William Johnson did. Yeah. That's always, that's always a bummer when people, like, I, I get a living from just using other people's content. You're like, sure hope you're, like, getting permission each time and like maybe even paying them since you have this whole channel that makes money off of this stuff because then it's like okay whatever it's like america's funniest videos or whatever but if you just other there's there's other people that will just take stuff and that's their entire platform it's like you don't do anything you're not even really doing commentary you're just showing people stuff and that's your plat that's your show you know, like, I think the modern internet really killed, uh, America's Funniest Home Videos. Like, there's no- there's literally no point for that series to exist. Yeah, they just, had to, for, they just had to pivot to YouTube. I think they do. I think they probably- I'm sure they have a YouTube oh, channel. Oh, the, the issue is that they, uh... they get- they would get probably, like, squee- uh... They'd probably get edged out by people that would just be willing to show more extreme content than they would. Yeah, I think, yeah, because that's the problem is like, their stuff used to air on TV. So there's a million things you could find on YouTube. I did it! That are not okay for TV, but I, are funnier and more interesting. I never succeed at the, the three stage one, it's so hard. I'm still not sure how you take a bad photo. 
I could try it again. You don't know how to, you don't know how to take a bad photo? Yeah, it's I impossible. I could take a bad photo. I'm gonna ruin the self-esteem of this bat. For the camera, baby. Yeah, so that, that bat can't take a bad photo. He's adorable. Say cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. He looks sad. Oh. Oh, bat is sick. He doesn't feel well. He bears his fangs. <sighs> Stop it. Bat, you're I'm... beautiful the way you are. EP strike. Use PP to generate strike with devastating force. Devastating PP force. <laughs> I, I don't have seven PP. Oh no, he's inadequate. <laughs> uh, Forever. You know, it's really like, obviously, PowerPoints isn't is like a an abbreviated acronym, but like that's really a, kind of an unfortunate choice. Like t over time, that became like an unfortunate choice. Of it was phrasing. it was always unfortunate. <laughs> we had. We had pee, pee before we had video games. <laughs> this, this bat. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Smickety smack. I must heal. Quickly, get to town. We need to reach that one water fountain or whatever. Save me. <laughs> it does not look like that. No. The, the overworld place doesn't look anything like the place we end up being in. As much as this is supposed to be like the poor town, I really like the aesthetic of this town maybe the best. Yeah. Wanna hit up the record place and if we have time, go see Rory? Ah, you dick. Uh, I think we should see Rory first, since that's more important. Dude. Jeez, dude. Even the character with almost no discernible personality is smarter than you, Michael. Uh, Alex. He's Michael. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> God, I, I'm, really, I'm really sad whenever we're stuck with just these two people. Like, wow, the worst two options. Is he here? Where did he go? It's, well, I see that's a girl over there. What? I saw the long blonde hair. Yeah. But no, no, I mean I mean the uh, the, the, the the previous employees. The guy who just now. fall back behind the counter. Yeah, maybe he is looking for his brother. Because there's a missing poster at the all the record locations. Oh. That's the logical connection if you're me. Let's look at Mr. Nice's house in town. Oh, my life's hard. My sister's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Boo hoo. Boo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that creepy guy that just had a, had a key to your house? Yeah. Rory? That was a thing. Because your mom's hot, apparently. And that's weird. Hmm. Rory isn't answering. Maybe I should check the front door. Yeah, you're not friends enough to I go through are, the side door. I'm still confused about that not being the front door. Yeah, me too. That's where the gate is. Yeah. Oh, hi. Are you Rory's friend? Rory's mom is hot! Oh my god. It's like the movie poster. Uh, the graduate. The graduate, there we go. <laughs> there you go, with Mrs. Robinson. Hey, Mrs. Robinson. The song was written for that movie, don't you know? I just know that song. And the other version of that song that you played that was like riffing the, the, on it. The AJJ but one. But I don't know the movie. He doesn't get a lot of visitors. It's a good movie for people who graduate college and are like aimless. Because that's what yeah. the movie is kind the, of about. What was the AJJ version? Do you remember? Uh, it's kind of brutal. Yeah. Um, you see, Mrs. Robinson, people love you more or never mind. In fucking fact, Mrs. Robinson, people could, couldn't care whether you lived or died. Oh. Uh -huh. In fact, they don't want to see your stupid face. Here's you, Mr. Robinson. You live in an unforgiving place. That yeah, that's the that was the one that that hits. Like, do you see you, Mrs. Robinson? You live in an unforgiving place. Yeah, that's true. It's like it's really good. That's a really good line. No, they're they're geniuses. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Mom, I'm gonna take them downstairs. Come on. Yeah, quit looking you at my sure mom. You sure don't want to come in and have something to eat? <laughs> Hello, Mom. Wow, Rory. Your mom is all legs. Don't say that while he's here and Literally right she's now. here. Shut up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to make of this scene at all. I don't know what to say. <laughs> It's like we're in the fucking Norwood suite. What's happening right now? That is Jesus a Christ. funny joke, but it doesn't suit 
anything else about this game. It like breaks the world. I have a happening. million questions now. It's talking. Like I was, I was even wondering, like, is she wearing like pantyhose or is it just like supposed to be like the silhouette of her leg? But then it's cuts to this. I'm like, this doesn't answer any questions. <laughs> it only raises additional questions. Is her, is his mom the bed? <laughs> Rory, are you gonna explain? What this? is the leg on? It's not even. It's. I, I thought it was like on like a sofa like arm, is but it, it's just floating. Is it actually the lamp from Christmas Story? And why does it have a seam? A uh, pantyhose has a seam, so it's, it's just a leg wearing pantyhose. Yeah. These are the seams in the back, not in the front or on the side like that. What a fucking weird. It's never gonna be explained. Shut up. What do you guys want? Find out any more information. How on did she get birth to you, Rory? I have so many questions. <laughs> Alex has something he wants to say to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Why is this a choice? <laughs> Why is this a choice? I can't. <laughs> it's one of the only choices we've ever had. <laughs> well, I mean. Are you, is, is this person who wrote this game hoping that you identify with Alex and you're gonna pick the refuse to apologize option? Is it gonna stop me? I feel like they must be thinking, that surely they think every member of the audience wants to pick apologize, right? But maybe Alex is such a shit that it's gonna like be like, uh uh, and they're gonna be clever about it. It makes me think that the writer really thinks that there are people who might agree with his worldview. Or maybe if you try to apologize profusely, he can't execute on it because he's such a shit. Let's see. You know, I think I, I want to see this one. Yeah. No. Ap apologize. Otherwise, we're just a hypocrite. <laughs> no. Just ap apologize. Get on your knees. Look, man. I was out of line the other day. I was scared. I don't know what came over me. So, I'm hoping you can forgive me and can be friends. I, I think you're a cool guy. So, yeah. Yeah. Whatever. It's okay. I overreacted. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, you reacted Your appropriately. Dead-ish. Also, I was wrong to lie to you guys. You didn't. You thought, point. You didn't think you lied to us, but okay. So we're trying to track down this record. He actually apologized. I'm really surprised <laughs> that Alex was able to do that without like dying on the spot. He, yeah, he didn't have to review with his counsel again or something. I thought his like body was gonna reject it, he was gonna like, throw up or something. <laughs> <laughs> he just starts convulsing. <laughs> you wanna come with us? Yeah, sure. Next, you're, you'll you'll buy groceries for your mom. Yeah. Wow. Your mom, the lamp. Other mom, I guess. Was that from? Christmas you know, story. You know old movies more yes, than Yes, Christmas story. The yeah. lamp leg. Yeah. I never pay attention to that movie. I always get bored. It's an award. It's like what's in it? It's like ah. It says I, Fragili, it must be Italian. Fragili. I, uh, was it, was that Folding Ideas, I think, did a video on that? That's, like, the interesting backstory of that movie and how it was just a massive fucking flop. And, like, the Hallmark Channel playing it over and over and over again all day artificially made it nostalgic because it was, they played it all day because it was cheap to get and just to play all day for for Christmas reasons, even though it wasn't a popular movie and it wasn't beloved and not financially successful. But th there's a lot of movies like really that. Cheap, but they played it so much it became nostalgic and now people th see it as nostalgic and it's a movie about nostalgia itself so there's like an irony to that. I think uh, that's genuinely one of my favorite Christmas movies and I think it is a really good movie. Uh, but I can see it like maybe not being like exciting enough to be marketable. Did it say Chandra? I think I just yeah, did it say Chandra? Did it just spoil the character? It said Chandra. Was that the name of the skill or the character? It said Chandra learned Chuck. I think they just spoiled the character because we're leveling up faster or something. Almost like they didn't expect us to actually use those dungeons or something. I think well. I, I think I accidentally didn't banish that one, so I think I made the skill weaker on accident, which whoops. It's not what I was going for. Will but Chandra have we'll that have skill have when you get her? To... Yeah, or did so. you waste it? I, I, I assume she'll just have it when we get her. So that must be the lady on the cover that we haven't met yet. Do, 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 do. I, I saw that flash here, by but... and I was like, wait a minute. That's not a name I recognize. Do, do. I accidentally, yeah, I fucked up. I think I didn't banish it, so the skill is weaker. But I don't know if, I don't, that might not have done anything actually. 
I think it would make your stat weaker if you don't banish the person, but you, can the skill be weaker? I think, I feel like if it possesses over a skill door, it's still gonna just give you the skill ultimately. And I don't have enough for the next one. I'm just leveling up for days, like, good damn. It's just good damn. going and going. Bloop. Get me out of here. There we go. And now I've learned the art of self-respect. Maybe I can trick my friends into liking me now. They only say they're fr my friends with a lot because they lack other words to use. But maybe one day I'll make them my friends for real. <laughs> oh, gosh. If only you could learn that skill. First, I'll just have to figure out how to not be a fucking shit. Go back to your mind dungeon and learn that skill. <laughs> Learn, learn, a uh, Empathy. Em yeah, empathy is a good one. Respect. <laughs> work, work ethic. <laughs> Fucking courtesy. Michael learned LP toss. Which skill would you like to forget? Empathy. <laughs> 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 That's just like, we didn't used to be this way. What happened? <laughs> so I really wanted a water gun. 